In this video, let's talk about calibration, calibration of these levels. We've designed this so the calibration of the levels is a field adjustment. It does not have to be sent back to us to be, to be calibrated. Uh, you can do this yourself. It's similar to doing a standard uh, machinist level. With a standard machinist level, you're gonna set it on the level on the surface and see what that level reads. So you need a fairly level surface to do that with a standard level. With these levels, we don't care. It doesn't have to be level. So we can we can read quite a bit because we have so much range in the target. But with the standard level, you put it on here, you see what it reads, then you turn it 180 degrees in the same footprint, and it should read the same. If not, you adjust it so it reads the same no matter how you turn it. With this, we always level the laser, but we need to make that laser plane match the levels. Uh, in other words, what I'm saying is I could have this level, but my plane could be like this. Okay, if I turn this 180 degrees and I re-level it, now my plane could be like this. What I want to do is adjust it so my plane always remains level when I turn the laser 180 degrees. That's the goal here. Now, we have two different, two different types of levels. We have split prism levels and we have standard levels. Uh, there's a little bit difference in the, in the tolerances here. So if we have split prism levels, these levels are one arc second levels, so we're allowed 60 millionths per foot. That's the accuracy of the levels. Because this base is five feet long, I'm actually allowed three ten thousandths in here. I'm at but because, three ten thousandths on one side, so I'm allowed six ten thousandths of total indicator. In other words, when I take a far reading, when I turn this 180 degrees, that reading needs to be within six tenths of the other reading. Okay, the standard levels, these are two arc second levels. So those are 1,000, about 120 millionths per foot, basically. So over five feet, I'm allowed six tenths. I have a total deviation allowance of 1,000 and two tenths. Again, meaning I zero the target on the near point, I take it down there and I, I take a reading. When I turn it 180 degrees and re-zero, I'm allowed one thousandth and two tenths difference on that number. Okay, when you're viewing these levels, you want to use the course adjustment. When you first set it down, you see the bubble is way, way, way off. So we're going to adjust, using the course adjustments, we're going to adjust the until the bubble starts moving and we want to get it underneath of those two mirrors on each end and you'll see each end of the bubble coming up in the viewing mirror as here comes one and there comes the other one's coming up from the bottom one's coming down from the top it's going to drift on you a little bit so wait for it to settle then you're going to use the fine adjustment and bring these two together so it looks like the complete end of a bubble. Okay, with the standard level, using the course adjustment, we'll tilt the laser until the bubble gets close to one end. You see how the window is recessed a little bit on each end because the bubble can grow with temperature change. So we recess the ends, so you'll have to use the ends of the recesses to center the bubble. Like that. To begin with, we set this down and we're going to level this. Now when we're leveling this, we need to stand right over and look straight down. We don't want to be off to the side looking in. We want our nose right over the prism and looking at the vials. We want to level in both directions. We can't just level one direction, we need to level both directions. We level this. And then we're gonna bring the target and put it on the near point. Now, I've already made footprints 
on this surface. When you're doing this, you should have a footprint or some sort of marker so you always put the target in exactly the same spot. If you want this to repeat, you have to repeat. You have to check the same spots each time. So I put it on the near point, and I'm going to make that read zero. I'm going to take this to the far point. Carefully placing it in the footprint. Now again, on this far point, I don't care what this number is, I'm just going to record it. So on the far point, I'm reading 149 thousandths even. So I'm plus 149 thousandths. Okay, I'm just going to double check my levels to make sure that I didn't bump something. Now I'm going to turn this 180 degrees. So Now when I turn this, because the laser, the laser pivots on this corner, I have to re-level it, and it could change its height. So I have to bring the target back to the near point and re-zero. And again, get your nose right over the, do we don't look, look at it sideways, we want to look at it straight on. So now I'm going to bring the target back to the near point. On the near point, I'm going to re-zero the target. I'm going to take this back to the far point. Okay, on the far point, I'm reading 154.5 plus 154. Okay, now I want to see what the difference is here. So, so here I have a five and a half thousandths difference. I'm not within tolerance. My tolerance is only six tenths. So I need to find a set point. I need to see what do I need to do to fix this. So I'm going to find an average of these two numbers. I have 149, and I have 154.5. I'm going to add these two together and divide it by 2. And I get plus 0 0.3035 divided by 2. I get plus 0.1518. This becomes my set point. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to tilt this laser until I read zero here and 1518, plus 1518 down there. So, now in this case, because this is a little ways away, I'm going to come back here and make sure that I'm still zero on this point. I want it zero in one five one eight. Okay, so now I know this level is not level because I tilted it. So I'm going to, using a one sixteenth inch Allen wrench. I'm going to loosen one of these set screws and tighten the other one. I'm going to move these prisms until the level reads level. So I know I have the level reading level. I'm going to come back. I'm going to just double check. I like to double check. I'm zero. One five one eight. So now I'm going to turn this 180 degrees and recheck. 
to make sure that the level is accurate. Turn it, re-level. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the target back to the near point. And re-zero. Okay, one five, one five. So I had 0.1518, and now I have 1515, so my difference is 3 tenths. I'm within tolerance on that level, so I know that level is accurate now. So now what I want to do, I want to set the other level, at least check the other level. So I'm going to just turn this 90 degrees. So now my roll level is running in this direction, and I'm gonna re-level it. Now keep in mind, I already know that my set point is 1518. So if this level reads within six tenths of that, that's good enough. So I'll re-level. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this back to the near point. Re zero. Okay. Now my set point was one five one eight. Here I have one five one three. So so now my deviation is five tenths. I'm still within tolerance, so this level is good. To do the standard level vials, the procedure would be the same, but the tolerance is a little different. With the split prism levels, because they're one arc second levels, we're allowed 60 millionths of an inch per foot. Well, this base happens to be five feet long, so I'm allowed three ten thousandths of an inch on one side, or six, six ten thousandths of an inch total indicator. The standard levels, they're two arc second levels, so over the, the six feet, we're allowed six tenths or a thousandths and two tenths total indicator from one side to the other. So the procedure is the same though. So in a nutshell, that's the way that we calibrate the levels in the sub 43.